It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Williams Brothers and it's their Profanity Stout, which is deeply irrelevant. 7% ABV, micro brewed for maximum flavour. This beer was kindly sent to us by Flavorly.com. Here's the bottle cap. Flavorly.com. I've got a great range of food and a great range of craft beer. It's a monthly club where you can either buy their food and they send you lovely little corn kernels and nice jars of gingerbread coffee and all sorts of different things that come. Um, bacon jam and great beers like Brewdog, Williams Brothers, the Tranquare beers that, that they sent down to me. They're, they're a great little company. What I would suggest to do is to try both. Try a little bit of food and a little bit of craft beer. And what you'll probably find you'll do, like I've been doing, is mixing the food up with the beer and it's just one massive, massive taste sensation. So, on with the review of Williams Brothers Profanity Stout, coming in at 7% ABV. Let's get the beer out into a glass. Nice smoke on the opening. I like using this Belgium style glass, this Belgium double or a Belgium triple glass because I think it, it gives a nice look to a stout. 7% stout, it's nearly pushing imperial. Uh, some, some might call it imperial, I've had a 6.5% stout that was labelled imperial just a couple of months ago. But usually it's 8% where we, you we start calling a stout an imperial stout. Um, nice lacing on the glass. Jet black beer, no light getting there, in there whatsoever. If it was a pale ale, I reckon it would be clear. You can, you can kind of sense that. It's not a murky beer. Um, let's get the aroma. Oh, that's very, very fruity. Like black currants and blueberries mmm good stout like qualities as well coming through that chocolate coffee caramel but for me it's got a nice vinous red wine quality to the beer uh, it's quite earthy and you've got some lovely blueberry and raspberry aromas this smells too good not to dive in cheers Oh yeah. Wow. That is absolutely fantastic. The one thing I want to mention first off is the mouthfeel. It's not up there with the Norwegian style mouthfeels where it's big and thick and it coats your mouth and I and I rant and rave how, how, how amazing the mouthfeel is. But nonetheless, it's got a nice silky creamy texture which is very drinkable it's nicely carbonated it's, it's almost lactosey like a milk stout but then obviously the flavors come through they're great chocolate coffee caramel nice bitterness on the back end it's it's a little biscuity as well it's nicely hopped in fact it's very nicely hopped on the back end it's pushing slightly black ipa i'm sure they've used um quite a few hops in this beer but look at the quality of this i was just talking about the consistency and the quality of the mouthfeel and you can see that consistency, you can see that quality by the way I'm rocking the glass back and forth. The, the bubbles in the beer, I shouldn't call it the bubbles, I was told off by a brewer the other week, um, I went out for a pint with a brewer and he said you must not say bubbles, it's carbonation. Okay, it's a slip of the tongue. Let's talk about the carbonation. So the, car <laughs> the carbonation chases the head up the side of the glass. It, and, and, and with it with it being quite slow, 
you can see that it's kind of fighting its way to the top, which means great mouthfeel, great body. Lovely lacing on the glass. I'm very, very happy with this beer. It's a really nice brew. Um, Williams Brothers Profanity, pardon me, Williams Brothers Profanity Stout. It's now don't take this the wrong way. It's quite strange. I've had a, a lot of Williams Brothers beers. I have. I've reviewed quite a few of them, and I've really enjoyed them all. But for some reason. Uh, it might be just down to availability, getting it down to Wales. It's never in my bottle shop in Cardiff. Um, it would be great to see more of the Williams Brothers beers down in South Wales to, to try. Because it's probably been nine, ten months since I last reviewed a Williams Brothers beer. And it's a shame because I'd like to review more. Because it's good stuff. It's really good stuff. So, if you're watching Williams Brothers, get it down to South Wales. We've just opened a Brewdog in Cardiff. Perhaps you can do a little tie-up with Brewdog. Two Scottish companies. Bring some beer down. Send it to the, the bottle shop in Cardiff. Right. Rating for Profanity Stout then. By Williams Brothers. It's really tasty. It's flying down. Um, it's one of them beers that are dangerous. One minute you've just poured out a 330 bottle into a glass, you're having a conversation with a mate at the bar, and then you look at your glass and it's empty. And, and them beers are very dangerous. But, on the other hand, it just means that it's very good. It's sliding down. And that's what you want from a beer. You don't want to be constantly reminded sometimes that it's got Cascade hops, or it's got Centennial, or it's got certain malts, or it's got a certain funky bretty yeast. Sometimes you just want to drink it. And that's the quality of this beer. You can just fly it down. You won't know it's gone, and it's 7%. So for that reason, I'm going to give this a big, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.